Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode in my Scratch series where I make a tower defense game. Today, I want to add some health bars and animations to the slime. So let's hop right into it. So as you can see in the enemy sprite, if we go into the costumes, I've added a couple of new costumes. I just have a health bar. So health bar 5, underscore 5 is full, then 4, 3, 2, one and then zero which is empty so those are the health bar costumes for the slime so that is actually pretty simple to make just kind of do what i'm doing here so let's just start by making the variables for the health so i will go ahead and click on make a new variable and name this enemy health and make sure to do for the sprite only now i want to go ahead and click ok and then do a when i start as a clone a forever loop here and this is just going to be saying if I'm touching the arrow then take down some health so forever if here and do if touching mouse pointer and go ahead and change this to arrows and now we can go ahead and set the enemy health to five so you're gonna want to set the health to however many costumes you have so it may seem like I have six here but the sixth one is just an empty one we really only have five costumes so I want to set the enemy health to five and then I want to do an and here and do if touching arrow and pull out a greater than and do if enemy health is greater than zero so that means the enemy isn't dead yet then i want to change the enemy health by negative one so that's just a simple script there and then a set size to 75 percent so it's gonna get smaller and shrink then a repeat four times change the brightness effect by 15 so it's just gonna get really bright and then change size by negative 10. Now we want to do a set size to 75% once again and a clear graph effect. Also duplicate the set size to 75% and just do it, it like up here. So that is just the quick little damage script. So if we go ahead and do that, as you can see, look at that. As you can see, they take some damage. But right here, this one look, these two look smaller. Okay, so actually what you need, take out any set sizes up here and up here. All you need to do is set size above here so setting size to 75% and then if it's touching then do all that so that'll just make these slimes a little bit smaller because I think I designed them too big but as you can see it's a little bit more satisfying when the arrows hit the target it kind of just shrinks a little bit so that is it for the damage script so go ahead and duplicate this whole entire script and get rid of the set enemy health to five pull out a less than and do enemy health is less than one which means we are dead and go ahead and just pull in this and you can go ahead for now and just delete all of that then i want to do repeat five times and do change size by negative 20. also to make this size work you're gonna need to go ahead and put an if statement and do if enemy health is greater than zero on the set size to 70 percent and then I want to do a delete this clone. Let's go ahead and test this out and see if it actually gets rid of it after five hits. So that's two, then three, four, and five. So there we go. It did a little animation there to kind of just delete itself. Okay, so another quick thing we can do to really improve this is just add a little animation to the slime because as you can see here we have this cool little animation but it's not actually playing when the slimes come so let's duplicate this and do a when i start as a clone and then a forever loop in here and just do make a brand new variable and name this enemy costume and this is going to be for the sprite only very important otherwise this whole thing won't work then in the beginning i want to set the enemy costume to one duplicate it set it to two Kate it said three then four so that is just going through so one is this one two is this one three is this one and four is this one do a repeat block and do repeat four times and a change y by 1.5 so that's just going to make it go into the air a little bit duplicate this and do repeat two times change y by negative three so if we go ahead and put that in there this is going to play way too fast so we need to add some wait times in here we want to just put a wait one second in between all of these like so 
and then just do 0.01 in the first one, 0.01 in the second one, and then 0.04 in the final one. This is not going to do anything right now because it's just changing a variable. See the switch costume to in the, the AI? Just set switch costume to enemy costume. So now if we hide this variable, as you can see, look at that. They actually just start jumping. And the only problem is this is going to continue playing even after we the slime gets killed. So we need to add a parameter to this to make this work. If else statement and then scroll down here and pull out if enemy health is greater than zero and put all this in the if side. Then just go ahead and hold the change distance by speed and close this enemy to the very last and that should be good. Now all you need to do is leave that blank. So as you can see now, it'll actually stop animating once it's taken out. So as you can see, there you go. So the problem I have right now is you can't really tell how much health all these enemies have. We know as programmers because it says five right here, so we just count five times. But for people playing this, we're not even gonna know that. We need to add a health bar to each individual enemy. So this is so to do this, we need to make a new variable and name this enemy ID. So we're gonna use this a lot. This is for the sprite only. Very, 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 very important that you do that. Now go ahead and make a new block and do create enemy and that is going to just be a block for making new enemies then put a colon and make an input and do type so this is going to enable us to do different types then do a run screen without refresh and click OK. So now we want to set this enemy ID to type right here and create clone of myself. Then duplicate this and do set enemy ID to health. So this is going to be the health bar. So for every enemy that is created, there's also going to be a health bar linked to that. Then instead of a create clone of myself, I want to go ahead and just do create enemy. And then the this one right here, I want to just put in sand slime. So it's going to create the sand slime. That is going to be the enemy type. So that will translate to the enemy ID setting to that sand slime. Okay, so now to make this work correctly, we need to put an if then a enemy ID and do equals to go ahead and copy and paste this so it's exactly the same. And we are going to need to put this around basically all the when I start as a clones we have. So we're going to need it around this guy. We are going to need it around this guy. We're going to need about this one. Definitely the animation script. And that should be good. You don't have to put it around this one because it's in here. So it can only be a sand slime to do all of this stuff. Then I want to go ahead and duplicate this and do if enemy ID is equal to health. So the health is the health bar, which has totally different programming. So I want to do a show and go to front. That is all fine. And then a forever loop in here. I want to do a point in direction 90. So it's pointing in the right direction and then a go to block. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We need to have a list containing all of the X and Y's of every clone slime clone created do this i want to make a list down here under the variable and do health bar underscore x and that is for all sprites copy Control C and then make another list and do health bar Y also for all sprites. Now we can go ahead and hide those. Now we need to go ahead and duplicate this when I start as a clone and do another sand slime here and just do a bunch of lists. So add just backspace and do blank to health bar X and a blank to health bar Y. Then do a forever loop, do a replace here and replace for now, replace item one health bar X with thing, except change that to X position, duplicate that and then do Y position and make sure this is health bar Y. So basically now, what this is gonna do is it's going to add a, a blank value to health bar X and health bar Y, and then is forever replacing its X position with the first one. But if we have multiple slimes, it needs to replace the ID. 
That way, if I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So we actually want to make a variable and name this clone number and then do for this sprite only. And in this create enemy type, I want to actually do change clone by one. And in the very beginning, I want to set that clone to zero. Then I want to do item clone number and item clone number for both of those. But basically now if we go ahead and start it's not really going to work because we also need to do switch costume to health bar 5 in the health. So now as you can see, it's not really working here. I want to do delete all of health bar X and health bar Y in the very beginning. So now I can kind of explain what this is doing. For every single clone, there is a value for the X and Y. So the very first one has whatever, maybe this one, and the second one has this one, and these are all the values of the X and Y. And every clone has its own clone number, so it knows which item in this list to replace its X position with. Then in the health bar here, we want to do go to item, then clone number of health bar X, duplicate that, and health bar y and put them in the x and y so now as you can see here it's working and it's going to the slime as you can see there it knows which one to go to now there is a little bit of a problem so it's just inside of it all we need to do is just go to item clone x of health bar y and just do like plus maybe 15 or maybe more like 12 there we go as you can see here it's just above it now so every one every clone has its own number which is where the health bar goes so i hope i explained that okay so you can go ahead and hide that but as you can see it's not actually switching to the right costume so actually it's pretty simple how we did this the x and y position is basically the same way we do the health bar costume so go ahead and make a list and just name this health bar costume and that is for all sprites now in the very beginning right here just do add blank to health bar costume and then a replace item clone number of health bar costume with enemy health and then before we start this make sure to do the delete all of health bar costume in the beginning so as you can see when clones are created they have their own health bar value and if we shoot that as you can see the first ones goes down because it's going down in its health so go ahead and make a brand new block and just name this health bar and do run screen without refresh then go ahead and put that health bar in this one right here that we've been doing for the go to now go ahead and find a big old spot for the health bar because this one's long but it's really simple all we need to do is pull out a bunch of if else's so we're gonna do it one if else to start go ahead and just do the item clone of health bar x and change this to item clone of health bar costume the right costume and if it equals to five that means we are full health so switch costume to five then go ahead and duplicate this and do four and just do health bar costume four so now you're kind of seeing what we're doing here then to do three and two make it health bar costume three and health bar costume two put that in there duplicate it once again and do one and then zero and do one and zero now if we put this in here we need to change the very last one to an if so that way it closes off the loop if costume equals zero switch costume to zero and then for the zero one all you want to do is wait 0 0.05 seconds in here and delete this clone that way it hides the health bar also you do not want this run screen without refresh so uncheck that if you did that was an accident so now if we go ahead and put this in this big long script in here it should actually switch to the right costume so if we go ahead and start shooting that look at that their health bar actually goes down it just switches to the costume that corresponds with its value in the list over here once the slime dies as you can see it actually deletes the whole entire thing so that is working awesome so there we go that is how to add health bars into your enemies and as you can see this game is starting to look a lot better and of course 
this works with two or multiple towers. It just follows it and it'll keep on taking out that first one. So it looks really, really good now. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and cleared up some questions about how to make the health bars because that could be a little bit confusing. Let me know if you're confused about something and you need help down in the comment section below. I would be happy to try to help you out. Make sure to hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing for future content. But anyways, this has been Owen and I am out.